Hi, this is Rob from Lincoln Electronics, inviting you to catch the excitement of football and HDTV. We have low prices, service after the sale, and SEP and delivery are available. This month's specials, 32-inch TV for $4.99, 42-inch TV for $7.99, and a 50-inch TV for $9.99. Lincoln Electronics is your place to buy HDTV. Lincoln Electronics, 1358 Lincoln Way East, Chambersburg, or check us out online at lincolnelectronics.com. Thanks for watching Public Opinion TV. I'm Maggie Davis. Here's your story of the day. We're out on Interstate 81 between Walker Road and the Scotland exit. Next week, the contractor will shift the concrete barrier that is on my right over to the dotted line that you can see in the background on my left. And as they do that, the northbound traffic will be moved to the new pavement over to my left and the new bridge. Similarly, southbound pavement will be moved into the median area as well. That will allow the contractor over the course of the next year and a half to reconstruct the existing roadway on the outside and the remaining portions of the bridge over the Conakachee Creek. Now, the traffic pattern kind of bows out in the middle around the job out to the outside shoulders. The new traffic pattern will be squeezed into the median and then pushed back out. We are on the bank of the Conakachee Creek underneath the I-81 bridge over the creek. On this side, on the outside, you can see the existing pier that has a short solid shaft at the bottom, two columns, uh, concrete columns, and then a concrete horizontal cap supporting the beams. Again, that's where the traffic is now. Behind that, and further to the left, there's a solid shaft. It's like a solid wall. That's the new pier. That goes up to support the beams in the center portion, in what used to be the open median, is now up above, is now a bridge. They built the center section of the bridge in the median. We'll switch the traffic over to that next week. And then the contractor will proceed to demolish the remaining portions of the existing bridge. The cribbing was placed there when PennDOT did one of their annual bridge inspections uh, on this bridge because it's on an interstate highway. And they discovered that the, the bearings, that is the mechanism where the beams sit on the piers and allow the beams to expand and contract, that that mechanism had rusted and frozen up over the years the beams were in danger of falling off those bearings. It would have been catastrophic. So PennDOT let an emergency contract to put those supports, the metal brackets that you see, uh, bolted onto the outside of the pier cap. The pier cap is the horizontal piece across the top, and the wood cribbing. And that supports the beams and keeps the bridge safe uh, until this project can be constructed. The project had some uh, unusual subsurface conditions with the pile driving. It slowed up operations, so this, the contract is running about a year behind schedule. Jim Cook for Public Opinion.